this team, this program is uh, on the rise. There's no question about that. Uh, this bull matchup is a mismatch. Uh, but uh, And I know people aren't caring about that. But as we move into uh, 2023, James said it. Uh, not a lot of teams are able to retain a quarterback at the level of Jordan Travis and get another year out of him. And then with everybody else coming back, wow, this is going to be uh, interesting. I think there's been a lot of buy-in, too, and you saw it with these games. And we saw the switch, I think it was at Louisville, where this team, we really saw the maturity grow. And, you know, Florida State has a chance of getting 10 wins, and that's they don't, they don't care who in the hell they're playing in this ball game. Their, their main goal, and it's been that way since after the Florida game, that they're on a mission to get double digits in the win column this season. And that's just something – Florida State hasn't seen going back all the way to 2014. A lot of guys after that 2013 season instantly looking at, you know, they're getting all the national attention. They're getting the uh, projected drafts and everything like that. Uh, the mock drafts and their names being high on there. And they're being more, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more thinking about themselves rather than the team overall. And that started in 2014. And then since then, you know, there hasn't really been a fight to, you know, put this program back on the map and be in contentions to, make you know big bowls you know they were trying their hardest to make an orange bowl clemson can't take care of south carolina and they that game where you know at home they can't beat shane beamer, uh, shane beamer uh you know that's a whole different conversation but florida state would be going into an orange bowl you know north carolina slipping up near the last half last little bit of the season you know florida state's in competition to be the top ACC team, definitely if there wasn't any divisions uh, like there is right now going into next year. But uh, this team, this team is bought in and they're practicing hard. They like being around one another. And I think that's just the way that Mike Gravel has been trying to do it with the locker room. These guys like love everything about playing with their teammates and their coaches right now. It helps that you're getting wins, but this team likes being there and I don't think it was too hard to sell a lot of guys, including Jordan Travis on coming back. There was a lot of talk over the off season about now nah, this would be it. He's had too much college time. He's going to be gone. I never thought that to be the case. I thought Jordan Travis would have to put together two good years and then you have the potential to move on and, and get uh, a potential in the draft. But uh, he put on a really good, good season this year. You got to have another one. And then I think he, really could have a chance in, in getting drafted, which would be humongous for Florida State in a lot of different ways, including recruiting. Logan, why'd you have to bring that up? Why'd you have to remind me that I have to cover Dabo Sweeney for the next three weeks down here? Why? Why? why would That's you your that? choice. That's your choice. You're a blessed individual. Job choice. It's good. No, it's, it's a blessed L job Listen choice. to some of those gems out of his mouth. It take those to heart. They're great. Oh, he literally <laughs> did the press conference after they got after they got announced on his plane, <clears throat> on his private jet, going to do his recruiting. And his answers were just the typical used car salesman. I need him to go away. I also need I want to know Dabo Sweeney. For the record, these, I'm a big Dabo Sweeney guy. <laughs> that doesn't mean the guy doesn't beat his kid, <laughs> and we'll find that out tomorrow. And then I'll say, you know, I, I didn't know that. But uh, yes, I, I just don't understand why he he doesn't want to be successful. Like, because, and I mean this in the utmost respect, um, actually with the utmost disrespect. Because DJ Ukulele is not any good, or whatever his name. And you you went, you went, lost two games with him. We saw him put in a number two quarterback who hadn't sniffed one reps, and that offense immediately looked better. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, like if he would have done a good coaching job, I'd be getting ready to go to South Beach. I, blame, I don't blame Florida State for losing three in a row. I blame Dabo Sweeney for not doing his job to get the ACC representation in the college football playoffs by not playing, what is it, um, Club of Nick or whatever, Cade, whatever the kid's name is. That kid is amazing. I hope he hits the transfer portal. He should transfer <laughs> because of um, malpra coaching malpractice. He doesn't deserve this. I also don't want to see that kid next year. But the point is, is that um, I don't understand Dabo or why, why he was um, so hell-bent on playing DJ. It's because God's plan is to make me have to work and test my patience come December 30th inside Hard Rock State. It'll be good that's, for you. That's God's plan. There. And again, I'll listen to Dabo a little bit. No, listen to I'm him. Not. You may learn something. You may be inspired. I'm not, I'm not trying to buy, buy a Toyota Corolla. I don't have time to listen mm. to this stuff. I also had to go put the Cheez-Its away. Otherwise, I was going to eat that whole damn box. So. <laughs> the Cheez-Its Cheez have left the scene. 